2007 BMW X3 with the 3 liter inline engine. We have a crank, no start, no spark situation. The coils have feed and ground. So we're looking at a control, looking for a control issue. And here are the codes in the engine. Variable intake system, valve trunk, mixture control interface, tank venting valve, intake vanos, exhaust vanos. Page two, mixture control, uh, oh, oil condition sensor communication and electric coolant pump communication. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve codes, and none of them really pertain to ignition control. So, what we're gonna do since we're here, let us clear the fault memory. Yes, okay because this thing has been molested, has been unplugged. Read fault codes right now. Boom. Nice. Five codes. Activation codes. Let's, uh, let's pick one of them. Wire slash plug connection damage, Vanos intake valve DME control unit. Okay. It's, uh, Somewhat helpful. Now let uh, let's go to the data stream and see if there's anything useful in here. Motor operating values. Let's just check some basics: coolant temperature, engine speed, air intake, mass airflow, EPP. Throttle, throttle angle, okay. Alright, let's let's crank it. See so intake air is 88, coolant time 76. That's all reasonable. I'm gonna press on the throttle. Nothing happens. Accelerator pedal position, flooring at 99, okay, we're good there. Let's see if we get an RPM signal. Watch the RPM. No RPM signal, okay. That's not definitive, but it is the direction. Okay, let's see here. So those five codes um, that's interesting. Let's look at battery voltage. 12 volts, okay. So at least the computer's online and talking. Let's see, spark advance angle. Nothing there, okay. Don't want to crank it too much. Uh, you know, drain the battery here. Let's look at our Vanos. Select page, okay. 120 minus 115, 36, 01. Adaptation and position. Hmm. Is it looking for cam crank? Correlation, if that's not good, then the engine won't be enabled to start, perhaps. Alright, since we got all these Vanos codes, I assume, I assume, these are ground side switched solenoids or whatever, so that this orange wire seems to be common. It should be a feed. Now we're checking with a test light. Test lights connect to ground. Check our light, it works. Uh, checking this brown wire, it does not light our light, and neither does this guy here. Okay, so there's no feed. 
I'm going to move my test light to battery positive like that. Test light lights. You can see what happens on this brown wire. What the heck? Do you see that? Very, very interesting. So let me pull up a wiring diagram and see if this should be a constant power. Alright, on all data, we're digging up some wiring diagrams. So here we have vano solenoid valve intake and exhaust. And we're missing the feed on them, this orange wire. It is a common feed wire coming from integrated supply module that should be fuse 20 amp fuse F01 so we have to find that fuse right there and check it and also this fuse feeds the crankshaft position sensor so if we're missing that feed like we definitely it looks like we are obviously we wouldn't fire anything so we have to find this fuse and it's being a real pain so let's look for X60193 and A6009 on all data and locations. Aha! Found it! Next to the brake reservoir, A6009. Let's go there now. Alright, fuse F01, moment of truth. Light here. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to pull that out. We're going to put a jumper wire in there with a fuse and measure the amperage on there to make sure we're not doing excessive current because, you know, things were unplugged, you could have just blown the fuse. Alright guys, when I connect this jumper wire, either I'm going to blow a fuse or we're going to see something reasonable here. And now... Point 0.4 amps. Let us check our feed at this orange wire. Woohoo! We got, we got power. Let me reconnect these guys right here. So this guy goes in here. Watch your amperage. That one is connected. Oh, oh. Get these little push pins on here. Where does that one go down there? Let me reconnect these. All right, here's our list of codes. Let us go back. Clear fault memory. Yes. Clear fault memory completed. Read fault code. Okay, now we're only down to one. Variable intake system, servo motor two, activation. Not too worried about it. There's our current draw, 0.28 of an amp. Let's try to crank it. Oh, let's, uh, Put the ignition coil back in here. All right, moment of truth. Key off. Key on. Sweet. Fantastic. There's only one code left. Server motor two activation. Let's try to reset that. Was it just a resetting of it, maybe? the computer or, or did you find a problem? I found a problem. I'll show you what it is. Yeah, sure. So, let's see, let's what reset that. Put it back in there. And that's for the hood. You know, it was in there. Yeah, for the, the insulation. Mm-hmm. Let's see, read fault code. All right, it's coming back with one code now instead of 12, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't that a good thing? <laughs> that's a very good thing. Yep. <laughs> So, I don't know if we, we need to chase this now or not. It runs. Uh, we can take it for a spin. Seems to rev good. The throttle response. That's what I did when I first uh, had um, that plug off. By the way, what is that for? The one um, that fell off. Oh, what's that? What is that, anyway? That, that plug that was plugged into that, that unit. Oh, the, the big like motor looking thing? Yeah. It's a variable intake flapper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it and electronically. Yeah, yeah, yeah that motor. might be motor, what, what this is. Yeah, so it's a servo motor, yep. Yes, yeah, sir, exactly. So, well, we're going to record this. All right, let me get back and, to my uh, stuff. I got to wait yep. plugs. I got to drive. <clears throat> 
Yep, uh, so I don't know if we want to chase this right now. Maybe a quick power and ground check at this. If I can find this variable intake system server motor 2, who knows where that is. But that's it. Blown fuse, we don't know why blue. Let's check the current draw and go from there. Okay, we got some more codes. Tank venting valve activation, differential pressure sensor, intake manifold plausibility. I don't know if that was wire plug connection damage. I don't know if that was for me revving it up, but let's look up this 2AA9 code for now. Alright, all data pulled through. The 2AA9 code is for the DISA controller on the intake manifold and it just says check for system voltage and controller actuation. We don't care about this. We got the car running and this uh, this is not gonna like blow the fuse I don't think I don't think it's on the uh, wiring diagram we should check though turn on the music a little bit let's see is our DISA valve on this diagram camshaft sensor Vanos Vanos Doom control module eccentric shaft sensor Okay, let's see here. Jump terminal. Actuator, variable valve, timing gear. No, no, that's not it. Crankshaft sensor, intake cam, exhaust, shaft, Vanos, Vanos. Centric shaft sensor. Mm -hmm. There's the feed. What wire, what wire was that feed? See, this is why all data is a pain in the butt sometimes because you have to scroll and look sideways and actuator valve. No, no, that's not it. Okay, there it is. It is a. It comes from the control module on a, what is, it, what is TR? Shaft sensor, that's the feed, it has to be the feed. Mm, I don't know, it's pin, pin six. Let's try to find that wire. Well, I checked for power and ground on the DISA valve, that's this guy. Seems to be fine. So, so, oh, and he said something about it rotation sensor and he plugged this hole with a cap so when that valve is activated it's looking at the rotation of the of the intake oh my gosh the runners so where the hell is that sensor where 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 hmm it's gotta be around here somewhere what's he missing it obviously is a position sensor. That's it. All right, guys. We spent enough time in the BMW. I uh, guess we should take it for a test drive, but I'm not going to do that. It doesn't have plates. I'm moving on to something more fun, and we'll see where this day goes. It's about noon. If it's anything like yesterday, I'll, hopefully I won't get home until tomorrow.